you know, in a hyper-connected world, we've got the things all around us, right? When you live without a computer, it makes things things a lot harder to do, yet that's the reality for some families right here in the Capital Region. That's right. So tonight we will meet the local volunteer group using your old gadgets to help close that digital divide. Strong coffee is what powers up this group each week. Everyone's retired. We're all old folks. But these are not average seniors and retired GE engineer Terry Lustifin isn't just here for the Java. And talk about various problems in the world. Then they start fixing problems, one computer at a time. Uh, a few guys were retiring from GE and they saw computers being dumped into trash. And they knew that most of those items were still workable. Terry and his brilliant buddies turn high-tech trash into technological treasures. They call themselves the GE Elfin Computer Rehab Society. Basically, we've got a computer that we don't know the condition of. We plug it in, turn it on, and see what works and what doesn't work. And that tells us how far we have to go. The donated hardware hauled in from all over the capital region. We'll take it no matter what it is. If it's junk, we will strip it down to the parts we can use. The warehouse on the GE campus stockpiles towers, laptops, and hard drives. You'll also find a graveyard of accessories waiting to be restored. We're going to need a mouse. There's an Ethernet cable. This computer looks like it'll do the job. Like a scavenger hunt, Terry searches for the parts to piece together. Getting down to the nuts and bolts of his project, he strips away a network of wires. Sometimes these things are a little difficult to get out. But it goes fast. It's the software installation and all the upgrades that take a lot of time. Time well spent. All of these are completed, ready to be picked up. Some go around the world. I think these are going to Ghana. Many stay local. It's my first computer. In Cohoes, Jaden Jones can finally do his homework at home after getting his first personal computer at 14. It was really hard to do schoolwork, but now I'm able to like do schoolwork from home really easily. It works perfectly too. The machines make it out into the community free of charge through nonprofit groups Elfin partners with, like Cohoes Connect Center, where Jaden spends time after school. It's not just food, clothing, and housing. Uh, it's also digital equity that needs to be addressed as well. And that looks like these machines. If they didn't give me this computer, I don't know when I was going to get one. Which is, I'm really thankful that they did that for me. And so is his mom. We've been having a little struggle, you know, so that wasn't my main focus to get right away. It's been a learning experience for both. You know, he's showing me, my look, this is what I'm creating. That's the future for them. And it's also teaching me as I'm going, I don't stay behind as a parent. While her son plugs into new interests. It was creating my own thing, saying it was my very own game. That really got me excited doing that. That excitement felt by the volunteers. They may come for the coffee, but it's opening new windows of opportunities that keep them working. We get a lot of thank you notes. I've got a file full of them from different organizations and individuals saying how much that computer means to them. It's a lot of meaningful work that they yeah. do. Now, prior to the pandemic, uh, Terry and his volunteers, they actually fixed up and donated more than 800 of wow. those machines. It's amazing. Their main thing right now, though, John, is they really need laptops because everybody's always on the go. So, yeah, of course, yeah. kids are always on the go. So they're really hoping if you're watching this, you've got some old gadgets laying around. And if you've got an old laptop, they would like it. So this is the place you want it to end up mm -hmm. instead of the landfill. Uh, what about more information, uh, your files on the computer, that kind of stuff? Yeah, so everybody obviously has all of their personal information. You can always wipe it yourself, but of course we're dealing with GE engineers here. Yeah, they so they have it. top of the line software. They will erase everything off of your hard drive for you, so you never even have to worry about uh, that. There's got to be people who like to have the next best thing. Just mm -hmm. take probably some nice laptops that they exactly. haven't used. They're sitting on a, on a shelf right now. And all the companies that always upgrade, donate those old laptops. Um, and you can find out more information about where to donate at news10.com. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.